For over 140 years, the library at Stevens has been collecting, cataloging, and preserving historical items. The Leonardo da Vinci collection is one of the most amazing facsimile collections. Any fine university will have a collection of artworks and of scholarly works that exemplifies what it's all about. And the fact that we are home to this collection of works dedicated and devoted to the work of Leonardo da Vinci is perfect for Stevens and its mission. I got interested in the history of the university when I uh, came to visit Stevens for the first time. I got a, a fascinating tour of the library. And at some point I decided that um, it was important to raise awareness about the history of the Stevens and the city and the innovations of this family. I was having dinner with uh, Mary Jane and Frank Semser. Um, Frank is a member of the Board of Trustees and a long-term supporter of the Stevens Institute of Technology. Um, and I was sharing with them what I'm doing with, uh, with this committee and my passion about the history of the university. And Mary Jane showed a lot of interest and she told me she wanted to visit the library she also was thinking about um, getting a birthday present for Frank. Um, so we brainstormed a little bit and she, when she came to the library, we showed her a couple of items that required preservation. And she fell in love with the book. She said that she wanted to give this as a surprise and dedicate the preservation of that as a birthday present to Frank. When I started working here, I found a, a listing in the bibliography for a 1509 edition of the De Divino Proportionate by Luca Paucioli. Luca Paucioli was one of the foremost geometers and mathematicians of his age. De Divina Proportione is, among many things, an exaltation of the golden ratio of mathematics and its central place in understanding everything from painting, sculpture, and architecture to music, poetry, and philosophy. Well, what I am very happy to have done for Stevens is perform a, a full conservation treatment on the uh, Divine Proportion 1509 by Luca Pasciolo. Working on a book of, of this importance and of this age uh, is a thrilling experience. During the course of a full conservation treatment, it's important that the, the conservator uh, uses what I call cautious confidence. You have to know your materials, so you have to know uh, the type of paper, linen, cotton, the construction of the book. During that time, you're thinking about I have to put this book into water. As you're laying that sheet in, you're seeing the water, you're, see, you're watching it wick up all of the water and it's just like a tidal wave moving all the way through the sheet. During the um, sewing process, pri uh, just before sewing the book, collating it, putting it all together, we found uh, two different watermarks in the book. And this, this comes back to um, the importance of knowing who made the paper, where, where it might have been made, so these were, these were really pleasant discoveries. A book, especially the importance and value of the divine proportion when it's correctly conserved, the value of such a book is, is, is so much greater than it would be even as it sits. So you're placing an investment in the future, you're placing an investment in the institution itself because the value of the collection is even greater, far greater. In the future, we hope to use the collections here to inspire students to become like Leonardo themselves in their own studies, in their own engineering, in their own artwork. Mary Jane, thank you very much for preserving a piece of the history of this university.